Thank you so much. Um, yeah, my name is Robert. I live in Oslo, uh, Norway, and I'm operating this hotel, which is the music hotel in the Nordics. It's not only the music hotel for Oslo, it's also in Nordics. We're not the first one in the world, but we're the first in the Nordics. Um, before I start to talk a little bit about the hotel, I would like to say a few words about my music career as well. A lot of people are asking me, um, are you an artist or what is your relation to music? And obviously, I also have a music career. Um, I founded a band together with my brother. Um, this is a few years back. Um, we were young and we didn't really have a direction on where we wanted to go with the music. It was most cover songs. We didn't write any um, stuff ourselves. Um, I was the guitar player. Um, my brother were on drums, and the uh, old guy was our grandfather. Uh, turned out this wasn't a great success, so we had to throw him, him under the bus. So we went, so we went like a duo, um, and that's basically my ups and downs in the music industry. Um, um, yeah, it stopped there, to be honest. And this is the first time I ever heard, you know, about Unplugged. My father kept unplugging the, the microphone. Um, I don't know why, to be honest, but uh, yeah. So it, it was a short career. Um, so I went over to hotels. Uh, I'm running two hotels in, in the city center of Oslo. This is the Grand Central. Also music inspired. We have the Rolling Stone suite. We have a Led Zeppelin suite, uh, and this is the Carl Johan, which is the main hotel I'm going to talk to you about today, uh, which is the music hotel, uh, as um, as mentioned. Um, so uh, quickly about Comfort. I'm representing Comfort Hotel, which is part of the Nordic Choice Group. Uh, Nordic Choice has 193 hotels. Um, by the end of this presentation, they probably have 194. Uh, my, my owner and my boss, he, he keeps opening hotels all the time. Uh, Comfort has 31 hotels currently, um, mostly Nordics and one in Lithuania. I have no idea why, but there's a, there's a hotel there. Um, we are informal, we're social, we are playful, and we're easy. That's what we are. So as you can see on my outfit, this is how I wear uh, also at work. I'm a general manager, but I'm not wearing ties and, and fancy shoes or whatever. This is how we work. Uh, so we're informal, social, and cool. Um, we have created um, a person, or we have a, a character. So this is um, young at heart Helena, uh, and we also created a guy called Fred. So these are our target group. These is our people that we want to target with our concept. So in, every, in all communication and how we are marketing ourselves, we always ask ourselves, would Helena or um, Fred like this? So if we post something online on social media channels, we always ask ourselves, is this something that Fred or Helena would like? And you can see the personas here, you know, how they uh, think about social media, what, which kind of music they like. They like tattoos, you know, they're kind of the hip urban people. Um, so we are easy and playful, that's what we are. And we're saying that we are basic. We don't have mini bars or an old concierge or overpriced burgers in the rooms, but we are best on the basics. Um, so the idea about the Comfort Hotel Group is that we're going to be a laboratory. We're going to be a lab where we test new things. Uh, we, in 2008, we threw out the minibars, and everybody thought we were crazy. Now Mar Marriott and Hilton are doing the same. Uh, we have, a, for example, we have a drawer under the, uh, in some of the hotels, so it's pilot hotels. We're testing new things. We have a drawer under the bed, and it says donate. That's our donate drawer. So if you are staying with us for a couple of days and you bought new shoes or you, you, know, you, you have an old sweater you don't like anymore, instead of throwing it away, you can just leave it in the drawer and we will donate it. So we are testing new stuff, a lot of new technology um, in order to roll it out to the different chains in our company. So we decided we're gonna take a position with the Music Hotel, we're gonna be first. We're gonna be unique. Um, and we're going to be different and daring. Um, we say that we're going to be the rebel. 
You know, we don't have the, the same stuff like our competitors do. We are different and we're gonna be a rebel. Everybody gonna hear about us. They're gonna be a bit um, uh, annoyed with us. We're gonna be the, the noisy brother. Um, I strongly believe that policies and procedures kills creativity. So I, if you're operating a hotel, um, I think you should think a bit differently than other industries. If you are in the uh, hospital business or uh, prison, I'm happy that you have procedures. Um, but when you're running hotels, you should be out there together with the guests, together with your employees, because that's where the magic happens. Um, culture is really important to me, and people ask me, uh, what is your competitive uh, um, or your uh, sustainable competitive advantage? Um, and I say, yeah, it's a music studio. And we have music rooms and we do a lot of music stuff. But our competitors can do the same tomorrow. You know, it's not, it's not so difficult to build a music studio. It takes some time, but you can do it. Um, it costs a hell of a lot of money, but you know. But it's still our competitor, my neighbor can do that. But it's all about the culture. And it's, we are different in the way we think. We are different in the way we do everything. And that's the main thing. Um, I will just show you a photo of this guy. This is the owner. He owns 193 slash uh, four hotels. Uh, and this is, his, uh, this is our skateboard because we don't rent out bikes or we, we, we have skateboards in our hotels. Um, and, he, and he heard about the skateboard and said, come up with one, I wanna see it. And he said, listen, you can do whatever you want to do in your hotel, as long as you take care of your people, which is our staff and our guests, and you think about our planet. It needs to be sustainable, environmental friendly, ecological breakfast and all that stuff, and give me a profit. This is, if you do this, you think about all these three things, you can do whatever you want. So that's why we are a bit more crazy than our competitors. So this is the Carl Johan Hotel, which is a music hotel. Um, as you can see from the photos, we have built a music studio. We have music producers working there every day and creating uh, music. And we have artists coming in and they're producing records. Um, at the moment, we have one, uh, our Norwegian artist, he has recorded five songs and they will be released next year in spring. In addition to a studio, we, we found out that artists need somewhere to work when they're out traveling. Um, so we also have in-house uh, music rooms. So this is a, basically a, a suite or a room, music room, um, a hotel room with music facilities. So you can sit, you can sleep and work. You don't need to leave the hotel. But we believe that Music is so much more than just music and artists and bands and, and that stuff. There's so many other businesses and industries, industries which is closely related to music. So don't be surprised that we have a Tattoo Thursday in the lobby when you check in. Because, you know, <laughs> musicians tend to like tattoos and people with tattoos tend to like music. So we, we have merged these things together and this is one event that we had in June. Um, big success, people were getting tattooed everywhere, and it was all crazy. Um, and then, uh, this is fashion. We work closely with the fashion industry, also very uh, tight bonds with, with music. Um, very flexible, that one. Um, uh, this, is a f this is a photo of an artist, um, and we work closely with photographers. Uh, we believe that they are the new rock stars. So the guy who took this photo, his name is Olav Stubru, he's a Norwegian guy, and he's currently the, the photographer for Justin Bieber. So he's traveling with him everywhere. So we reached out to him and said, listen, if, whenever you have an artist that needs location, you can just call me, send me an email, and I'll give you the location for free. So he's, he brought this guy in, uh, in our suite and take photos. So we have connection with his network, which is huge. Um, as you can see here from, from uh, watch collection, uh, sneakers. We are now building a, a room um, in the hotel, or, um, actually a store, 
a sneaker store. Uh, all the hip hoppers and rappers are going crazy, uh, and that's a cool thing. I know that you're gonna look at the guy pointing at you. That's not the point. Uh, it's actually the wall behind you I want you to focus on. That's the graffiti wall. We have an urban art in our hotel. It's an eight meter long wall. We got an, uh, an artist to paint that wall for us in our courtyard, just also to be um, even closer with the urban style and, and, and the music scene. Um, when, when we were to market the new music hotel, we understood that we need to tell people that we exist. Well, we wanted to do that also a little bit differently. So we thought, are we gonna tell them, yeah, we have a music hotel, we have a, a, a French bistro, and we have a gin bar, we have a fitness center, you know, all this boring stuff. So we thought a bit differently. So we said, when you're staying with us, we are Oslo. So Oslo starts here. So we don't have one restaurant. We have 1,045 restaurants, 9,600 shops. So when you're st staying with us, you have a, a world of uh, uh, opportunities, um, and we are Oslo. So we threw out this campaign and said, Oslo starts here. This is our tattooer, this is our florist, this is our barista, you know, all that kind of stuff. Plastered all over Oslo uh, at the airport express train everywhere, and it was a huge success. And then we have to throw a lot of events to make sure that people know about the music uh, hotel. Um, and, uh, you know, this is really important to get the people in, the citizens of Oslo to come into to the hotel, because we're not only a hotel providing a bed, we're so much more than that. We are changing the cultural scene in Oslo. Uh, we want the citizens to use the hotel and use the facilities. Um, this is Bibi Rexa, do you know her? She was hosting the MTV Music Awards last Sunday. And on Thursday, she was with us, oh, seven days ago, she were in our courtyard having a, a, a live stream session. I know somebody of you are gonna talk about streaming later on. This was done uh, in our courtyard for, her, um, for la yeah, last week. She has uh, one million followers on Instagram, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is Kaigo, he's a, pro yeah, you probably know Kaigo. So he stayed with us four days. He stayed in the, one of the music rooms. He was uh, basically just practicing for his, uh, uh, he was uh, on a festival and also closing the Olympic in, Olympics in Rio. Um, social media is important to us. Um, please follow us on Instagram. Um, and we believe that you, if you're gonna be good with social media, you should keep with one platform or maximum two. There's no point being great at Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and Pinterest and all that stuff. So we decided that this is the platform that we want to be great at. So Instagram is our platform. We communicate only three things on Instagram. It's music, the destination, or our product. This is what we're gonna talk, we, that's the only thing we talk about. Um, let me just wrap up to talk a little bit about, uh, again, about the culture. I think it's really important to understand. Because um, we know that we, our competitors are looking what we're doing. And they can steal, they can try to steal whatever they want to steal, but they will never s steal our culture. This is something unique for the company. You saw the guy, you know, behind the company. He, he has so much energy and enthusiasm. And um, what we create is something completely different. So we said, when we're going to open the new hotel, we're going to have the best staff. And we didn't just look at their CVs and look at their experience and their um, education. We wanted to hire the right personalities. So uh, we threw an audition. So we had 380 applications. Uh, we invited them over to a similar area like this, and they had two days where they were able to present themselves. And then when we had the group of people that we wanted, we hired them. Um, sorry. Yeah. So this is basically what we did. We did that recruitment. We did that in November, and we opened in March. So you know, we, we have this is uh, it's, it's all well planned. Uh, and then we built the music studio, we built the music rooms, and uh, we did the cooperation with Warner Music and Universal and Sony. Um, what we're doing right now is doing the deals with the different DJs. Uh, we have afterworks uh, with artists. We do parties. 
We are the first hotel in, 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 Oslo, in Norway um, that has a live radio broadcasting. Every Thursday, they're moving to our hotel and they're sitting there interviewing artists um, and they're actually broadcasting live from the hotel. Um, there's a list of people staying at us, uh, name dropping. We like to be, you know, name drop. Uh, Jonas Blue, you probably know him. He's Scottish, right? Yep. Uh, Beefy Claro, the same, and then Bibi Rexa, uh, um, yeah, just last week. So for the future, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to do backyard battles. Uh, DJs battling against each other in our courtyard. Uh, Pop-up concerts, the similar like Bibi Rexa did. Uh, we're going to do acoustic sets every Thursday. Um, we have made a deal with Tidal. We're going to have a juke, comfort jukebox, which means that the guests can actually control the music in, the, in our um, areas, in the, in the restaurant and the bars. Um, we, can, we have created a music intranet. Uh, we haven't launched it yet, which means that our, uh, the artist and the musicians checking in, they will have uh, an own Wi-Fi so they can um, chat with other musicians and, and book uh, studio times. Uh, we're going to be the first hotel in Europe to be the voice. You know the program, the reality show, the voice? We're going to be the voice hotel. So whatever you see on TV, we have, they are holding auditions and concerts everywhere. Everything sh will be in our hotel. This is what we aim for. Um, as I told you, we're going to build a sneaker room. We will have more music rooms. There's high demand for, uh, for that. So we're going to build more, more of those um, music rooms. And uh, Comfort as a brand is looking into maybe opening one music hotel in the major cities. So I have created one long term, term target, or I call it long shot. So th I know this is a bit of a long shot, but this is what I hope will happen in the next three years. OK, you ready for this? <laughs> so I want a big artist to come and make a record in our hotel. And, and we were thinking, who should this be? So we said, Yo, let's do Foo Fighters making a collab with Adele and Bruno Mars, <laughs> featuring you two and the script. Then we should be happy. Yeah, this is our ultimate target. And of course, on our label, Comfort Records. Uh, if I had a microphone, I would do like a mic drop. <laughs> but I, but I, I will not do that. But that's all I had. Thank you very much. Please, if you have any questions, go ahead. Any questions to me? Yeah, please. Oh, you need a microphone. Sorry. Let you me can bring, do the mic I'm going to come over. <laughs> now, young man, uh. what's your question? How much is it to stay? I want to come. Is it quite affordable to stay in, in the hotels? And, and if you stay, can you actually use the recording studio, or is that more for established famous artists? Well, actually, the music studio is for established, established artists. Uh, it, it, it's a very professional studio. We have producers there. But uh, if you are music, you know, interested in music and you want to do a demo, there's no problem. Uh, and for a small fee, that's, that's uh, possible. So how much is the fee and how much it is the night, Robert? <laughs> well, it depends. Uh, the music rooms we sell for 350 pounds per night, uh, which means that you can sleep there and you can do your recording as well. So, which is uh, actually a quite a decent price, I would say. Anyone else have a question? What's the average age? Uh, I'll give, use the microphone. Average age? Basically, if anyone can wait to answer, yeah. ask a question, because it's getting recorded, so it's nice to have the, the voice amplified, otherwise you just hear his answer. So could you tell us a little bit about who your average customer is? I mean, if, if there is an average customer, what's the sort of average age? What's the gender split? What's the... Yeah, it's a, the demography of our, uh, our um, guests is a bit difficult to say because it changes a lot during the week. Uh, Midweek, we have more business people coming in. Um, as you saw Fred here, you know, this is the guy we're looking for. Um, we're not necessarily looking for the, um, or targeting the, the typical corporate person, but we have a lot of business people coming in during the week, and, and weekends there's more uh, leisure and uh, um, people coming to festivals and, or to, to uh, concerts and stuff like that. So it, it varies a lot. Uh, more younger crowd than maybe our competitors. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, go on. In the back. 
Is it, are all of the hotels, you said it's a hundred and something hotels, yep. are they all um, in Scandinavia? Uh, no, the 190, probably now, four uh, hotels are in Nordics. So we have uh, most in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Uh, we opened last week two hotels in Finland, Helsinki. Uh, we have two hotels in the Baltics. But uh, it's mainly uh, a Nordic region uh, chain. Could I ask as, as well, I mean, how much is this uh, music concept going to be rolled out across the, the other hotels? And is there a chance that you could actually create a, a touring a touring route like Julia has alluded to doing here? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the guys who are working with us on the music studio part, they really want to uh, create more music studios in our uh, other hotels. But as what we can see is that there's no point having comfort hotels uh, as a music hotel, all of them, because I, we cannot have, we have five comfort hotels in Oslo, and they're quite close to each other. We, we cannot have five music hotels. It will just confuse people. Uh, and we're going to be, you know, um, stealing um, business from each other. So, uh, but if we have like one in Stockholm, one in Gothenburg, one in Copenhagen, one in Oslo, this is what we what we are aiming for. So this is this is the idea. And then Julia uh, will do a music tour with us, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Robert.